Hi everybody. I'm gonna wait a little bit um, for some people to join us. This was totally last minute and um, I had planned to do this a few days ago and I just got really busy so I put it off until later. So I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna wait and just chat for a minute and see if I can get some more people to join. Um, and and see, I'm gonna check on this. What I wanna do today is just kinda go over um, the fabric bases that we have. I may not address every single print that we have, but each of those prints will fall within the base that I'm gonna talk about. So we can, ah, uh, now everybody's starting to come on. I see comments. Hi, Caitlin. Hi, Melissa. Alex. How's everyone doing? I hope you're having a fun Labor Day. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started because I think that this video will stay um, in the group and then people can come back and, and, and reference it for future. Um, I wanna start first with our Power Flex. It's the fabric that I'm wearing right here. I love these more than I thought I would. Um, this color is so fun. This print is absolutely adorable. So this is the Power Flex, and we have um, right now two in stock that are the Power Flex, and um, we're getting the Strata, which is also the other one, and that one is um, coming back. I've got a bunch of that on order, and that should be back in stock in a week or so. Um, so this is the Highlighter Explosion. The Power Flex is 320 GSM, and it is 99% nylon and 12% spandex. And on our website, I have um, percent stretches listed two different ways, kind of like a real firm percent and then an easy percent. And you guys know as well as I do, you can stretch fabric um, a little bit and then reach to something and then you can pull a little bit harder and get to something and then you're like at max. So on the firm, when I say firm, I mean you can get out there to 100% stretch um, but it's really easy to get yourself to that 75. So I kind of put it in two different ways. You can kind of really stretch and then you can stretch. Totally opaque, can't see through it when you squat. I've tested it, I've worn these to the gym and I know. So this one is our highlighter explosion. That's what we called it because it's bright colors. I love it. All right, any other questions? I really can't read these so I gotta get in close. Anybody have questions on this uh, PowerFlex? It really feels good on. It's um, It's got a lot of good stretch. It's got some good firm compression feel to it. I love it. I teach a hit class and this is something that I like to wear in hit class. Um, when I'm doing jumping jacks, I don't feel like I'm jiggling all over the place. So that's that one. Next up, kind of what I call one of my favorites and it is the uh, Yoga Flex. It feels so good on. Um, it has almost like a um, Beth called it spongy. Um, maybe you could call it that. Um, I think it depends. The texture of it is really, really cool. It's real smooth, like a smooth trico. Um, um, it has a real nice, smooth feel to it, real high end feel to it. It's 250 GSM, 75% um, nylon, 25% spandex. This has a firm 75% stretch and an easy 50% stretch. Um, Honestly, this is one of my favorites too. It's fabulous. It's got a great stretch, a lot of firm control, but it flexes really well. So um, again, I wear this in my hit class. I really like it. And it's also really good. I love it anytime I do my Pilates because it has a lot of movement to it and it can stretch and move and um, it feels really good on. This is our sand camo and I love it. You guys, I'm gonna say that about every one of our fabrics. I love it because I handpicked them all. I tested them. I ordered samples of them, I made pants out of them, and then I went to the gym and I worked out in them, I sweat in them, I did my hit classes, I did my squats, I did everything I'm so I picked out just some of the best stuff that I could find. Sand Camo, Yoga Flex. We have a lot of different prints in this one. Um, we've got uh, the blue gray abstract in it, and then we have um, the, uh, oh, the Sublime um, Floral, which is also in the same base. This is the Sublime Floral. These are my pants I made out of the Sublime Floral. 
and I have pictures of these online, you guys can see those. Um, that's in that same base. Uh, the black marble, which is gorgeous, that's in that same base. Let me see if I can find that one. There it is. Um, this one is super pretty. I really like this one. And that's in that same base. Really love it, it's super pretty. Um, oh, and we have three solids in that as well. A soft black, which is a right, it's a really nice soft black. It's not like a really dark black, it's a solid. It's more like a, it's a mix between a charcoal and a black. And then we have a dark magenta in that, and then we have a dusty pink in this same print in the solids. So that is the Yoga Flex. I'm gonna stop and read. Thank you, Beth, you're right. That sand camo and the pinks, the two pinks go really well together. I did post in the group not too long ago um, a color blocked pair of leggings that I made and I was using the soft magenta with a soft pink and then the white trico, which we'll talk about in just a minute. They go really good together. Next up is the Luge Nylon. This one feels amazing. It's got a really great drape. Um, it is 280 GSM, 85% nylon, 15% spandex. This one is the Blue Geo. It's so pretty. I made a pair of pants out of this one. Oh, right here. I made these out of that same, and then I use the pink Perfotech as the inserts. These are Super G's, and I will um, talk about the Perfotech here in just a minute. And I made these, and I wore these the other day to the gym, and I'm pretty sure I posted pictures um, of me in my class with these on. They held up great. They handle the sweat, they handle the heat, they handle um, squatting, again, tested all of that, so these are really great. One of my favorites, and the feel of this uh, luge nylon spandex is really, really nice. You'll like it. All right, up next is Deluxe Suplex. I'm kind of in love with the Suplex too. Um, and you've heard Melanie talk about this. She uses it. Um, recently, she's been riding horses a lot, and she's been using it in the barn, and she made herself some tights with this in the black, and she uses them every time she goes riding. Um, this has a suplex feel to it, um, but it's not stiff, um, and it's not too heavy. Um, I'm, the one I carry is 320 GSM, so it's thick enough, and it's definitely not see-through. Um, it's 90, no, 77% nylon, 23% spandex. It has a firm 75% stretch and an easy 50% stretch. It's got compression qualities about it, so it's gonna kind of hold you in and feel really good, like a, like a nice surrounding hug on you. Um, this is the bold blue, and this blue is gorgeous. I've posted it a few times. You guys have seen me in the gym wearing this. Um, it coordinates gorgeous. It's so pretty with this deluxe, and it's also really pretty with um, the other print that I don't have in this deluxe. I don't have it down. It's so pretty with that, and I've posted my pants in that, so you guys have seen that. You can go back and look at that. Um, I do like this Deluxe Suplex, and we have several colors in this. You guys can go to the website and see. Um, we've got black. I've got a really pretty olive that we just got in. I think the olive would be fantastic with um, our Moto Pack that we've got for the Inspires. I think that'd be awesome. Um, we have it in like a, a Bordeaux color. Uh, oh, mul mulberry, and then we have it in black, of course, and um, cherry red, which is super pretty. The cherry red is back over here behind me. Um, but the Deluxe Suplex, I'm telling you, it's probably, well, I'm gonna say it's one of my favorites, but again, I already told you, I told you all of them are my favorites. All right, You'll, you, won't be, you won't be disappointed in that Deluxe Suplex. Up next is Perfotech. I just wanna talk a little bit about that. It is 265 GSM, 88% nylon, 12% spandex. It's got a firm 75% stretch on the easy 50% stretch. Again, it's got some compression capabilities and feel to it, but it's a lot lighter weight and it's a little drapier than the Deluxe Suplex. So it's got um, a little more drape in it. I don't know if you could tell. It coordinates with a lot of our different prints that we have. I showed you earlier this Blue Geo. Uh, those two coordinate real well together. It goes with a lot of our prints that we've got. Um, 
It's got good stretch to it, not see-through. You can make a whole pair of pants out of it. It's also a lighter weight, so you, it's perfect for tank tops like the Lily or the Jillian. Um, the um, staple tank top, it would be great for that. So this is a really good uh, fabric for all of that. It's good for color blocking too. I like it and we have this, currently we carry this in this fuchsia pink and we carry it in black. Am I going too fast? I probably need to stop and read some of these things. Caitlin, you're gonna like the suplex. Hi Aretha. All right, let's move on. Brushed athletic performance. This is what I made all of my brassy joggers out of. It's what I made my husband's brassy joggers out of. It's what I made some shorts out of. Um, all my boys have brassy joggers out of this. It's great for that. It is a brushed feel to it, so it's gonna feel really soft against the skin. Um, it's kind of a, a space dye or a yarn dye on the print of it. Right now, I've only got two different colors in it. I've got the gray black, and I've got this purplish color with black, and I really like this. I want to pick out some more colors to bring in. I just need to um, pick out which colors, but I think I'm gonna bring in some blues and some other colors, because this is a great fabric. It is 280 GSM, it's 88% poly, 12% spandex, and it's probably got a good firm 100% and then a easy 75% stretch to it. This would make a fantastic crop top, I'm just saying something like that might be coming out soon um, and one of our testers used this fabric for her crop top and it works out perfect so it's a really pretty fabric um, it's got a nice soft feel to it and um, great for the joggers it'll work for leggings too it's totally uh, squat proof all right up next dry tech and it's a very affordable fabric um, on our website we've got several prints in this and I just brought in some extra we have the gray and black camo. I just have this berry camo that we got in and it's so cute. I made a pair of strides in the berry camo and um, I'm gaga over them. These are so cute. Um, this has a nice compressive feel to it as well, this fabric, this dry tech. Um, it feels really good on, it feels like a, a firm, a hold all my jiggles in kind of fabric and I really like it. It's 300 GSM, 88% nylon, 12% spandex. I call it a firm 100, an easy 75% stretch. It's got a good stretch to it. This is our vibrations print. Um, and like I said, we have gray and black camo. We've got the berry camo. We also have the blue and purple camo, which I don't have an example of right here, but it's really fun. Um, the purple with like some teal colors and some grays, and that's a really fun one. It's a very affordable fabric for, and it's really good quality for what you're getting. I like it. I love my berry ones. All right, next up, flight suplex. This stuff is cool. Um, I have the purple here. This one is a suplex, and I call it flight because it's um, firm but light. So a lot of suplexes, can be kind of stiff and heavy. This has a lot of stretch to it. It's firm, but it's light, and it still feels like a sublex. Um, it's 320 GSM, 90% nylon, 10% spandex, but don't let that fool you on the stretch. It's got 100% firm stretch, 75% easy stretch, and we've got three really fun colors in this one, so go check those out on the website. The green that behind me, I love it. Sharon um, posted some pictures of her strides, I think, or maybe her super G's that she made in the green. I have some that I made in that. I just made some plain inspires as my test uh, piece, and I love them. Totally squat proof. You could squat in them all day long, um, and they don't show through. So check those out. I really like the flight suplex. It's just, like I said, a little bit lighter, but it still has a nice firm feel to it. Up next is, hold on, let me check and see how we're doing. Hi Carmen, hi Dawn, hi Susie. All right, we have Mist. Ooh, you guys have been buying this up like crazy lately and I know why, because it's awesome. So we just recently released the no-show briefs and um, I brought this fabric in specifically because it's difficult sometimes to find knits that don't curl along the edges when you stretch them. Um, 
sometimes um, some just work and sometimes you're just lucky and you found some. This mist is what I brought in in order to kind of address that situation and have something on hand that you guys know will work. It feels like nothing. It feels like a little, uh, like walking outside with a little bit of mist that just barely touches your skin. Um, it's super, super light. It's 80 GSM and it is 90% nylon, 22% spandex. It's got a really good stretch to it. Let me see if I can get it this way. Really good stretch to it in both directions. Um, and it's real thin and it's lightweight and it really just feels like, like you're wearing nothing. So it's perfect for the no-show briefs. No show, no feel <laughs> if you're wearing these. It's great for that and um, if you're doing that no-show brief, I know that I have like three quarters of a yard needed for that, but you can get several pair of undies out of that. You just need it for the length um, of that. And so this is a really great fabric for that. And honestly, I only have it in nude right now, um, but I think I'm gonna bring it in in black as well. It, honestly, I would totally make a tank top, tank top out of this fabric. Uh, probably not in the nude color, but in the black I would, black or white. Um, and so I'm considering bringing in additional fabrics. It is really thin. I think it'd be perfect for summertime tank tops. So we'll look into that, bring it in for that. The next thing we've got is Trico. And we have several Tricos. Um, one of the, my favorites is that laser cut Trico. This stuff is super, super cool. And I don't know how well you can see this um, on the screen. I don't know if you can see those tiny little laser cut holes in it. This is super cool for color blocking. Um, we have color blocked it on the back of a crop top. We've color blocked it on leggings, like towards the bottom or from the pocket edge down. Uh, you can color block it on the sports bra. You can do it as an overlay. There's a lot of possibilities for this. It's got fantastic stretch. It's 250 GSM, 77% nylon, 23% spandex, and it's at least a 50% stretch, probably a 75. Um, we have this right now in black and in white. So you can color block to your heart's content in that. And we're considering bringing it in as gray. So let me know if you guys wanna see this in a gray as well. Um, anyway, this is one of my favorite pieces of fabric. It's so cool. I know I've already showed you. There's that white and the black. You can do some really fun stuff with that. So check that out on the website. Oh, I forgot to show you my brassy joggers that I made with the uh, Brushed Athletic. I told you I made all of mine in that. My husband's iron joggers and my brassy joggers. I had those out to show you and I forgot. Back when we were talking about the athletic performance. Um, in the line with the Tricos, we have a black Trico as well. And it's a little bit of a heavier uh, Trico. I don't have it written down, but I think it's 280 GSM for that one. And it's a solid black and it's nice. Uh, it's a good price. I also have a white, a plain white Trico. Um, this is a brushed Trico, so it has a nice feel. To me, it feels almost exactly like the Yoga Flex. Um, and it is, again, squat proof if you don't stretch it too terribly much. And it's, um, just to be on the safe side, I wear it with nude colored underwear. You know what I wear it with? No show thong or no show briefs in the mist just to be on the safe side. But I've made uh, white tights and I've got them upstairs um, out of this and I have worn them to the gym and I've taught class in them and I really like it. This is also really great for color blocking. Um, obviously it's perfect if you want to color block it with the sand camo. It goes great with that. Um, it also goes great with the sublime floral. You can color block white with a lot of stuff the marble, black marble, all kinds of things over there. Um, one last thing that I have over here is the tech sheen. A lot of people have questions about that. This is um, 250 GSM, 77% nylon, 23% spandex. This has a real firm stretch to it. I have started using this in every single one of my inner waistbands on my tights. So right inside the inner waistband of the tight, I have this tech sheen in there. It's got a nice compressive feel to it. It's 
a little stiffer. I would never ever use this um, as outer garment. It is see-through when you stretch it. Um, you can't use it as like a full-on pair of leggings or tights, um, but it's fantastic for lining of the waistbands, for the power sports bra or the endurance bra if you want to do that. Um, Cynthia made like a like a torso support garment with it and she thinks that it's awesome. So if you have questions about that, I'm sure Cynthia wouldn't mind sharing with you. Um, but it's got a nice compression to it. So if anywhere you need or feel like you need compression, honestly, I think that you could even use it underneath like the moxie shorts because you're still having the moxie shorts to cover it. So the, those inner shorts that you put in there, you could, put, you could use this for that. Um, it does have a firmness to them. So you might need to stretch or size up one size if you're using it like for the inner lining of the moxie shorts um, or the pace skirt. You might need to go up one on those under shorts because it does have a firm stretch to it, but that's how it's so compressive. I'm trying to think of what else I need to talk about. I can pause here for a second and try to read back through some of the comments if you want. That really covers all of our base fabrics that we have right now in stock. Um, I didn't show you every single print that we've got, but you can go to the website and that'll give you a better feel for the fabrics and, and the, you know, the weight of them and the drape of them as I kind of held them up. I hope you were able to see that. Um, and then I do have a few pictures that I've posted on the Green Style page about what fabrics go with which fabrics as far as the colors and how you could color block them and which one you'd want to get with each other. Let me think about what else I want to go through. Let me look and see if I can see any questions. Leslie says she'd like to see the um, uh, laser cut in gray, so I'll work on getting that one in on my next order for that. Let me see what else. Yeah, everybody likes it. And the Trico and the laser cut. Yeah, those are awesome. I'm trying to go back and see what other comments there are. Well, I think that's it for now. I want to sign off. i got to take my kids um, somewhere for Labor Day. But you guys give me a holler back or comment down below, and we'll try to answer a bunch of questions. If you have any other questions, um, right now we are having a sale. Um, if you buy four yards of fabric, um, you use the coupon code LDFREE19, and that will put a free pattern. And if you put a pattern in your cart, that will mark the, the pattern for free. If you buy eight yards, you can get two free patterns. So um, that really only uh, lasts through the end of today. So don't delay. If you guys want to try some of these fabrics now that I've kind of discussed it and shown them to you, you can get an idea of what you want. Throw four yards in your cart and you can pick out a pattern for free. So uh, that's all I got for you today. 